the response of a TV or monitor is not linear. That is to say that the relationship between the input signal level and the amount of light produced by the display is not always one-to-one. -one. The display's response is known as its gamma, and it's a curve that looks something like this. To get a natural looking picture, it's important to have a video camera with the opposite gamma curve, like this, so that when the two curves are added together, they cancel each other out and you get a natural looking linear response. Changing the gamma curve used by the camera can alter the look of the picture by changing the camera's response to highlights, midtones, and shadow. The Sony EX cameras have eight different gamma curves, and these can be changed via the picture profile menus. Press the picture profile button to enter the menu and select the picture profile that you want to adjust. Then select set and scroll down to gamma and select it. Now scroll down to select. Here you can choose between the four standard gammas and the four cine gammas. The four standard gammas give a range of slightly different contrast ranges, with standard gamma 1 having the highest contrast. Personally, I don't use standard gamma 1 as it also produces quite noisy pictures. Standard gamma 2 gives a pleasing, natural looking image. Standard 3 is much like 2, except the darker areas of the picture are lifted slightly and standard gamma 4 gives a picture that is brighter overall, but with less contrast than standard 2. Next down is cine gamma 1. The cine gammas are quite different to the standard gammas. Cine gammas have a much more curved response, lifting darker parts of the picture while compressing the highlights. The idea is that by doing this, you can capture the maximum amount of dynamic range. In other words, retaining shadow detail without bright parts of the picture overexposing. Cine gammas are really aimed at those that will grade or treat their images during the edit or post-production. Because of this, Sony have allowed the peak white levels of cine gammas 1, 3 and 4 to go up to 109%. If you're not going to grade your pictures, then you should only use a standard gamma or cine gamma 2, which is restricted to broadcast safe at 100%. Cine gamma 1 gives the best highlight handling and is particularly well suited to shooting outdoors or in bright, high contrast situations. Cine Gamma 2 is very similar to Cine Gamma 1, except it has a lower white level to keep it within the broadcast legal 100%. Cine Gamma 3 lifts darker parts of the picture at the expense of some highlight handling, while Cine Gamma 4 gives an overall brighter picture, again at the expense of highlight handling. For indoor filming, Cine Gamma's 3 and 4 work best for me, while for scenes with a bright sky, such as landscapes, Cine Gamma 1 works very well. Another way to improve highlight handling is to use a function called the knee. The knee only works with the standard gammas. If you look at this diagram, you can see that the knee folds the top part of the gamma curve, compressing the highlights. The knee point setting in the picture profile menu moves the level at which the compression starts. I've found that for most applications, setting the knee point to 85 works well. As you can see, the difference between knee on and knee off is quite striking, so I leave it on.